Yeah, yeah, video. There were balloons right there. Okay, so this is the theater. Here it is. Killers of the Flower Moon. I read that book. Not really my thing. I'm assuming, yeah, this is the entrance. I think the door's open. My sister's also on a date, so I get, I get to be her wingman, kind of. So I didn't know that there was a new Ghostbusters coming out, but I do really want to see Wonka. I think that would be a great movie. Um, looks like it would be good, but looks like ice on that Ghostbusters thing. Is that ice or water? I don't know. I'm very interested. I haven't seen any trailers for it, though, so who knows? Ooh, movie theaters. Movie theaters are always so much fun. There's a Taylor Swift movie? Huh. Cool. Uh, hey, Izzy. Tickets. Hold them. Um, okay, so mom gave me her debit card. What do you want to, what do you want to get for food? Uh, sure. Alright, thank you very much. And, uh, once we get the drinks, do we just come back here to pay for it, or? Uh, two large popcorns, please. Like yes, please. Ooh, popcorn and a soda. Ooh, we've made it. Hello. Uh, well, we are like a half hour early, so. So, uh, Izzy, what do you think of the movie? It is good. I agree. Alright, so that movie was, uh, brilliant. That was a really good movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. There, uh, my sister and her friend are gonna go use the elevator. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down the stairs, because it's faster. Um, so, review the movie. It's really damn good. It's a really faithful adaptation to Finance of Freddy's. Kind of. I mean... It's, it's, it's a great movie. Um, although, unfortunately for me, I already knew the cast, so I already knew some spoilers, but <laughs> thanks to casting on Google. But it was, a th it was a great movie. Would recommend. And um, I, I don't know. Uh, I just really enjoyed it. Also, look at my shirt. I got this eight years ago. I don't know how it still fits me, but I am wearing another shirt under it because this is a bit short. Hello. What took you so long? I did really enjoy the movie. It's fantastic. And I really love how they included kind of like the first three games. Um, also, MatPat from Game Theory was in it. That was, that was a pleasant surprise, kind of. Not really, because I saw his video about <laughs> about being in the movie uh, two hours before going to see it. But it was kind of it was a bit, it was a delight seeing um, Matt Pat on screen. Corey Ketchum was also on screen twice, actually, which is more than Matt Pat got. Um, Matt Pat also had his name tag, which is Ness, which I think is funny because you know uh, Ness is Sans, his theory years ago. It was a really damn good movie. I can't stress that enough. And I loved it. Loved every second of it. All two hours and 55 minutes. They also used the FNAF 1 song, which I think is awesome. Hey yo there, Yogi. Hey yo! Hi! Come on, give kisses. Why is there... Give kisses. Hey, okay, okay, okay. Come on. There you go. Ow! There you go. Hi, Yogi. Ooh, it's a mirror. 
Oh my goodness, a mirror! Oh! <laughs> okay, um, genuine review time. I'm gonna get back to my room. And, um, it'll be a fun time from there, so. Okay. Right there, so it could be a decent camera. Okay. So, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. The, my lighting is not good. So, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. It's a phenomenal movie. I really love it. And it really, it really does the source material uh, some good. I, I love, <laughs> okay, there are a lot of references in the movie. And uh, there are a couple of YouTubers that you see. There was Corey Kenshin, he appeared twice in the movie. Once in the actual film and once at the end, kind of post credit sequence. And there is also uh, Matt Pat from Game Theory, or the, the Game Theorists. And he was a waiter named Ness. And if you don't know that, um, it's, it's a joke that's been going on for a few years now about Matt Pat. He once made a Game Theory video about how Ness from Earthbound and Smash Bros. is actually Sans from Undertale. And technically Deltarune now. Um, you know, the funny comic Sans guy? Anyway, um, they both appeared. There was the Employee of the Month board that was seen a long time ago. I think there were a few other YouTubers on it. Uh, I didn't get a close look because we were in theaters and I can't exactly pause and take a screenshot and zoom in. I think it was a brilliant movie. I would love to see it again. Um, unfortunately, I did know some of the plot twists because I knew the cast. I knew that uh, Matthew Lillard was playing William Afton and uh, the intro sequence kind of hinted at that. Like it made his name purple because William Afton, if you don't know, is the purple guy in, um, in the Finance of Freddy's games. He killed a bunch of children and stuffed them in suits. And then became Springtrap from FNAF 3. There are so many small details in the movie, and I love them all. Although I do kind of wish they played the Toreador March at least like once, or had the power go out, um, so that we could get like Freddy and just his glowing eyes and mouth kind of. You know, something, something like that right there. Yeah, like that. I do wish that was in the movie. And I do wish I could talk about it more. However, I don't want to make this like a spoilers video. But holy moly, there are so many... There are so many references! I loved it! Um, I was kind of disappointed to know that there wasn't a Golden Freddy or Fredbear thing. And I do find it a little confusing that, um... Oh, there was a Golden Freddy. It's not a particularly scary movie, but I... What you doing? Overall, I would rate this movie an 8.5 out of 10. It wasn't really scary, but it's also a fucking good movie. Like, it was a really, really nice movie. I loved it. Um, I did see some behind the scenes on uh, Game Theory's video on it, which I did mention a little earlier. And I know I'm just repeating myself, but oh my goodness! Like, I have seen very few movies that captured their video game, uh, counterparts as well as the FNAF movie did. Like that, the Sonic movie, uh, I mean, it brought Sonic and Eggman, that's, that's about it. Uh, Sonic 2 brought Tails and Knuckles, but that's also about it. The Mario movie, I mean, I, I guess it's, it... Mario movie is, I think it's better than the Sonic movie, but I'm getting off track. The FNAF movie, Better than those two, by a mile! Uh, I'd say Uncharted was better, though. The actors did a great job. The plot is well written. I don't really know of plot holes other than how Corey Kenshin was never told where to drive to in his scene. And yet he just went without, you know, being told. Uh, the scenes with the YouTubers, they were great actors. Really enjoyed it. I didn't get a cringy YouTuber... Uh, vibe off of them, like you know, cringy, like YouTube actor, like, oh my gosh, this guy's in a movie. Oh, he's gonna, is he gonna say his catchphrase? Matt Pat did. Um, <laughs> he he did say, but that's just a theory, in the movie, and honestly, that got a smile out of me. Um, a lot of things in this movie got a genuine smile out of me, and it's 100% worth the watch. And I would truly love to see a sequel. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that might happen because Scott Cawthon, I believe, is retiring. So, 
Unless Blumhouse can do it on their own, then I don't see a sequel coming out. But god damn, that's a great movie! <laughs>